Hello everybody and welcome to the vlog. As you can see I'm out and about today. I thought while I've got a few minutes to myself I'm gonna do a little I'm gonna get some fresh air. Um yes I'm now having to do a night shift. Today is supposed to be my day off, but my lovely place I work for rung me up at half twelve this afternoon asking if I would like to do a night shift. Obviously, I need money, so unfortunately I had to say yes. Well, I've got a few minutes to myself, or a few hours to myself, I'm going to go for a quick walk and I'm going to show you Hessel Forshaw for the first time on this vlog channel. And I probably won't be the last. I really like coming here because I find it very tranquil and very peaceful. And I, I come here, I come down here a lot when I, have, I feel like I'm very reflective and I want to be to myself and think about life, you know what I mean? As you can probably tell, I am losing a lot of light. What time are we on? About half five. We're roughly about half five in the evening. As you can tell, I haven't got very good sufficient lighting for this camera. You know, I'm quite dark. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try and try and show you Hesel Forshaw for the first time and... Uh, yeah, get, get some air. It's nice to get a little bit of fresh air. So, uh, next time you see me, I'll be down for sure. Okay, so... I'm almost there at Foreshore. As you can see, I'm currently walking across a field. This field is uh, where the local Hessel Rugby Union Club, Amateur Rugby Union Club, and Cricket Club both play. Um, I've never actually checked out a, a game or anything like that for any of these uh, clubs. But they don't do it very often. Um, this field's not been very, uh, not been very active in that kind of thing. But anyway, so I'm going to give you a quick look at what what it's like, and it's a little bit shabby, but it's a playing field. <laughs> what more do you want? And here we are on Hesel Forshaw. At least the walk up to Hesel Forshaw. As you can see, this is. Uh, the River Humber, there's the Humber Bridge, which is the iconic landmark of uh, where I live and Hull and Hessel. I really love this little bit of, uh, I really do love it here. Um, especially now it's spring, it's, uh, you can hear the birds chirping in the background and, uh, I mean, where I'm heading to, there's a nature reserve. That used to be an old, which is an abandoned chalk quarry. No, that's what it used to be, and then uh, it was made into a uh, a nature reserve. And uh, it's one of my most favourite places. The locals around here call it Little Switz. As soon as I get to it, and if I've got enough light, I'll uh, go in there and show you what it's like. Yeah, I just love coming out here and experiencing the experiencing it it's very very peaceful and I can be at one with myself if you know what I mean like uh, mentally uh, mentally mainly and be very reflective it helped me through a lot of bad points when I was back when I, when I was at school I used to get quite badly bullied and everything and uh, coming out here it used to clear my thoughts of negative feelings and everything but anyway let's carry on with this walk because it's getting ever darker every every minute
barefoot. We are now approaching Little Switz. That's what the locals call it. And um, this is the little nature reserve that I mentioned, or nature trails as it's known as as well. And uh, just going under this little footbridge. So if I go really dark, you know why. And I'm right underneath a main road as well, hence why. Ooh. Here we are. It don't look very special at the moment, as you know, it's only just become spring. And uh, obviously a lot of the trees are still yet to blossom. But I really love it in here. It's really, really nice in here. Now, anybody out there on my channel, is anybody out there interested in the paranormal? I am. Um, I've always believed in the supernatural, the paranormal, like ghosts and things like that. There's an interesting story. Um, we don't know if it's folklore, if, it, if it's true, but there was a, a woman hung herself along with her baby at a Pacific tree, and I'm going to show you that tree. Very creepy point. There's actually that this is meant to be haunted. This bit and. Uh, it's kind of interesting. Right, I'm going to show you the tree now. Now, you might not be able to see this because I am losing light, but there is a tree just there where I'm pointing the camera, and it's supposed to be that tree that the lady hung herself. Um, so, apparently the baby was, was still alive. She basically uh, hung herself, and the baby was in her arms. And they say that it kind of does come back and it follows you around this nature trails um, but I've yet to actually witness anything interesting but uh, it certainly is a freaky story and uh, I for one am a big fan of freaky stories so yes absolutely love it in here it's just so peaceful you know if you just don't say anything I'm just gonna stop for a second Turn up your volume, turn up your headphones, whatever you've got, and just listen. Yeah, unfortunately there is a busy road I'm right near, but just for a second you can hear all the birds chirping. So I'm going to go quiet now. You hear it? There's a hell of a there's loads of different species of birds in here. You get robins, you get all sorts of different birds. And uh, well, like I said, it's a nature trail, it's like a nature reserve. There's a lot of species here that's you know that you'll be quite surprised to find. Um, there used to be like little there used to be years ago people spotted deer in in here. There was like little rare little, little ones. But I've never spotted any. These are just some of the species of butterfly that are apparently supposed to be in here. You've got something called the comma. All these different versions of the butterflies. Really interesting. And then here is kind of the wildlife that you could expect to see. All like the different plants and uh, butterflies, and then apparently even a weasel. Look at that! I've never actually seen a weasel, and apparently there's uh, a bank vole there as well. But I've never actually seen these myself. But it is quite interesting of what you can get, and so you can get a swift as well. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do now. It's a nice back shot, isn't it? I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to head back now and because uh, I'm really losing light and I'm not going to really get a good picture in there. So the next time you see me, I'll be back home. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to go back home with this camera. Well, I'm not going to show you going back home. I'm just going to end this vlog now. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. Uh, there will be more videos that concerning outdoors 
outdoor activities. But uh, thank you very much for watching and please remember to like, subscribe and comment for future material from myself. Peace and goodbye folks.